Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jared Skillings and welcome to our presentation on Combat and Operational Stress Reactions or COSR. I'm a board certified clinical health psychologist and this presentation was designed by myself and Dr. Sarah Grushka. First, let's start by answering the question, what is a combat and operational stress reaction? COSR is how service members cope with the extreme stress of combat and military operations. COSR is a normal reaction to an abnormal situation such as combat. Some of the stressors you might face in combat include being injured, killing or wounding the enemy, helping wounded buddies, seeing members of your unit become injured or even die, and worry about whether you are doing the right thing. There are also operational stressors, such as being in a desert climate for a long period of time, being separated from your friends, family, and loved ones, having multiple small injuries over multiple missions, and having communication problems with either your peers or conflict with leaders. All of these stressors can have a significant impact on you. For example, number one, COSR can impact your body. And there are multiple examples on your screen. Everything from muscle pain to heart pounding, having an upset stomach, or feeling very tired. Number two, COSR can also impact the way you feel, your emotions. A lot of service members develop significant anger or irritability. You might feel a bit depressed or hopeless, maybe numb or guilty. Number three, COSR can impact your thinking. You may have difficulty concentrating, bad memory, make poor judgments. Number four, COSR can impact your behavior. Some service members begin avoiding other people, become too careful or hypervigilant, develop risky behaviors. Number five, COSR can impact you spiritually. You may begin to doubt your beliefs, have difficulty trusting God or a higher power, and have some struggles forgiving or trusting other people. Unfortunately, there are some ways that service members try to cope that actually can make COSR worse. For example, some negative coping includes avoiding other people, drinking too much alcohol or using drugs, having anger outbursts or violent behavior, not sleeping enough, or engaging in other kinds of dangerous behavior, such as driving too fast, fighting, or smoking. On the positive side, there are some healthy ways to cope. Number one, Try to solve some of your problems, rather than just think about them over and over again. Eating healthy food and drinking less alcohol are helpful. Exercise more regularly. Find supportive people and take care of your spiritual needs. Also, practice relaxation skills, such as deep breathing or muscle relaxation. Those are all positive coping skills. Where can you go for help if you're struggling with some of these difficulties? First, you can talk to your family doctor about your symptoms. You could also see a psychologist who is specially trained to help you cope better and manage your COSR symptoms. You may contact your VA or local health center to ask what services they offer. Or if you really get stuck, you can call your insurance company and ask them for a recommendation for mental health services. Lastly, what can friends and family do to help? Number one, try to listen to the service member like a good friend with empathy and compassion. Two, ask questions to understand how the soldier feels. You should be asking more questions than you should be giving advice. Three, stay calm and try to be objective. Don't let your own feelings and ideas get pulled in too much. Four, give the service member space to find words to explain how they are thinking. Five, be encouraging, but don't give too much advice. Six, remind the service member that you love and respect them. Thank you very much for listening. We hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day.